In terms of the economic impact of this, do you think a slim down Tokyo 2021 could have long-term economic repercussions for Japan and impact its overall economic recovery? Um, you heard, first of all, the, the Japanese people saying, we're not sure that we want this, uh, the Olympics. In other words, yeah, it'd be nice to have the uh, consumption benefits of, of having the Olympics, but the risk of having all those foreigners coming into Japan is much higher. And you've just got to get a, a grip on the numbers here because outside Japan, they're very, very poorly understood. But if you look at, I mean, really what we're worried about is the, the deaths from this disease. If you look at the deaths per 100,000 people, even in Germany, they're 14 times higher than Japan. In the US, they're 55 times higher. In the UK, they're 82 times higher. So Japan is actually controlling this incredibly well. And the worst thing would be if the, uh, the foreigners would come to Japan and, and make Japanese people sick. So we're in a great position. I'm sitting here in the, uh, uh, the CLSA offices. I've come in to work every single day because I, I think the numbers say that I'm more likely to be hit by a meteorite than, uh, than to go ill with this disease. <clears throat> Yeah, look, OK, the numbers are interesting, but look at the numbers for Japan's economy as well, because they paint a less impressive story. Uh, despite two rounds of stimulus, we've seen factory activity slumping for 15 straight months. Uh, we saw exports in June down double digits and uh, a new Reuters forecast also says the economy is going to slump around 5 percent this year. So where are we seeing tangible evidence that Japan's efforts to stimulate its economy and all of the work that the BOJ has been doing to get the economy moving again, actually translating into the real economy here? Japan's got some big problems. Japan's got some big problems and the rest of the world has got much bigger problems. So the, the numbers that you're not telling people is that the, the consensus numbers for GDP is down 4.9%. The US is down 5.5%. For Germany, it's down 62 And for France, it's down 97 So yes, we're all having a hit from this. But Japan is likely to be hit a lot less hard. And actually, yes, you're right. It, it's much more important to talk about the, uh, the fiscal side than the monetary. So forget about the Bank of Japan for the moment and just look at the fact that the stimulus coming in from the, uh, the government is uh, the headline number is 21 and a half percent of GDP. That dwarfs anything else in the rest of the world. Uh, and, and, like, and remember, I've said to you all the way through, look, the, the uh, probability is that we're going to have an election in, uh, in September, October this year. And the uh, prime minister is going to be minded to, uh, to juice the economy as much as he can get away with. So overall, I think we're going to have a better economy in Japan than, than most of the rest of the developed world, probably all of the rest of the developed world. Now, a lot of people think, yes, but the, the rebound the following year will be smaller. And I think what they're doing is, is forgetting that the, the hangover effects in the rest of the world will be much bigger than they think they are. And